Hey everyone, today we are going to design and 3D print this little witch's cauldron. It's got little handles on it, um, it's got a fuzzy skin appearance which you do in your slicer, and I actually put my daughter's name on it which I'll show you how to do but you obviously don't have to do that. Um, my daughter is giving these away for um, presents. For a little birthday party of hers that she's having and we're going to fill these with some little things of candy and like i said they'll just be little gifts for the girls coming to her party so okay let's get started so how we're going to do this in fusion 360 is we're going to create a sketch and we are going to revolve that sketch around the z-axis um and we're basically going to do it, uh, other than the little handles on the side um, and the name, we're going we're gonna to do it all from this sketch. So let's go ahead and create sketch on this front plane. Let's draw a circle. And we'll just make this 60 millimeters for now. And this is really up to your creative juices. You can make these whatever size you want. Um, I'm going to draw a line that goes across and I'm going to hit D for the dimension tool and I'm going to click the circle, click this line and I want this to be about 22 millimeters. Then we are going to draw a rectangle. Now I'm going to draw this rectangle straight up from the center and i want this rectangle to be drawn from the center so you hit r for rectangle or just click right here and then click there's three ways you can make a rectangle and i'm going to click the center one i'm going to move my mouse over the origin and it'll snap to it and then i can just kind of drag up and i know that's going to be centered click and pull out and i'm going to make this four millimeters tall by 60 millimeters wide and then I'm going to dimension this the same as the line below. Okay so now let's draw a center line because I want this to be we only need half of this drawing to to rotate it so kind of the same thing I'm going to snap it to the to the center click draw straight down and we might as well get that dimension correctly. Okay, we're gonna click on the circle to make the walls of the um, cauldron. And so I'm gonna click on the offset tool and we're gonna offset this in two millimeters and hit okay. And so you can see here is the wall of the cauldron and this will be the base of it. So let's click on this line, offset again, two millimeters. And we need a line up here that connects, that kind of, that ends this. Because I just want to select this portion, the little, the little lip of the cauldron. And we're going to have to make some changes to this. Um, but I believe that should do it for the sketch. So let's go ahead and finish sketch. Let's go back to the front here, zoom in. And let's select all of our edges that we, or all of our faces that we want to, uh, let me zoom in here. So that, this, and this. So let's go ahead and click Revolve. And if your Revolve tool isn't up here, you just have to go to Create, Revolve. And we already have our profiles selected, which are all of these faces here. And the axis will just be this vertical line. And we can hit OK. So now we can use a fillet here. So you click on that edge and we'll come out till basically the edge. We'll come out four millimeters there. Hit OK. Click on these two edges and we'll do a chamfer. Let's do a 0.5 millimeter chamfer. And I may come back and I may make this fillet just a little larger so we don't have this overhang here. So we don't have to use supports up here so let's double click this fillet and maybe let's do five millimeters and let's see how that looks so hit okay and there we go 
Okay, that's the basic shape of the cauldron. And now you can see how thick this top is. And if we can, we can look inside this, we can split this model in half. And um, to do that, you can go to inspect, section analysis. Let's go back to the front, click on that front plane and flip it so we can see it. And now look at how thick that is. Um, we definitely don't need it like that. So let's click this inside edge hit the press pull tool and drag it out until we get to a good spot. And that looks pretty good to me. Actually, let's go negative 6.5. And then let's turn the analysis off. And that looks much better. Okay, let's make these handles next. Um, so we are going to draw a torus and we will pick the left plane here. And let's just get into this left view. And so we can click and drag out and let's make this maybe about 22 and a diameter of, can't see it because it's inside, diameter of five, let's just stick with that and hit okay. All right, so it's in the middle. So let's move that. So let's go to the top view. Let's click on the torus we just made and hit M for move. And we can just drag this out. And if we zoom in, we can kind of fine tune it a little easier. Let's see what this looks like. So if we go to the front view, you can kind of see how much is sticking in. And you know what? Now we can rotate this a little bit. And let's bring it out a little bit. That might be good. Let's hit OK and see what that looks like. Not bad. Okay, so now we're gonna make a, this little top piece that uh, kind of holds on to the handle. So to do that, we'll just create a cylinder and let's see how we're gonna do this. Let's just do that same um, plane. We will draw a six millimeter cylinder and we'll make it like six long as well. Let's just see how that'll look. And while we're here, Let's select the two edges and do a 0.5 millimeter chamfer. Okay, now let's move this into position. So whenever I'm moving things like this, I like to do, um, you know, either top, left, right um, views. I don't like to be like at a weird angle like this. So pick a view, click on that body, hit M for move. And we know it needs to be about right there. So now let's pick a different view. Let's pick the side, the back view. And now we know it can come up a little bit. This, and we can even just drag it freehand like this. That might look okay. Try to kind of center it right here. Let's check a different view. That actually might be good. Let's hit okay. And there we have it. Okay, so we're gonna just basically just copy and paste this to the other side. But before we do that, let's clean this up. You can see it coming through the model there. So we're gonna use the combine tool to cut this away from the body. So let's hit combine. The target body, which is what we wanna cut, let's just start with this piece. So we'll select that piece. And the tool body, which is what's going to do the cutting, will be the cauldron. And we want to cut and we want to keep the tool and hit OK. Now let's do the same with the ring. So hit combine. The target body is this little torus. The tool body is the cauldron. And we want to keep the tool again and hit OK. And you can see it created some extra bodies here. So we have, let's see if we can find it here. We have this one and this one. And now they're gone because they were cut away. And if we hide the cauldron, you can see that was cut away. And we can actually remove these. So if you click on both of these and hold shift, right click, hit remove. Okay, so let's mirror this to the other side. So we'll click body two, body three, create, mirror, and mirror plane, and we want to mirror it 
along this plane and then hit OK. And now we have one on each side. And there you go. That's the basic cauldron. And if you wanted to go back and change it, if you didn't like the proportions in some way, you can go back to your sketch. And honestly, you probably should do this before. Let me hit finish sketch. Before you create these rings here, you should go through and make sure you get your proportions right, right? So like your, your lip is right and the size of your cauldron's right. Get all that perfected. And you can do that by going back and changing the dimensions of your sketch and tweaking it until you like what it looks, or it likes how it looks. So we're just gonna keep this like this for now because it's just an example. Um, the nice thing about this design is the only place it needs supports is right under these little handles. Um, everything else should print without supports. So I'm gonna show you how to write a name on it real quick. Um, so we are going to create a construction plane Let's pick this plane and bring it out. Hit OK. Draw a sketch on that plane. Create text. And we can just kind of drag a text box right here. And we'll just put in Mila, my daughter's name. And there's a bunch of things you can do. If it's, if it's lined left, you can center these, hit bold, hit OK. And now we will emboss this to the cauldron. So click on the text, create. Oh, let's see. We're not. We have to. We have to finish sketch first. And I'll click on the text, create, emboss, and the face we want to emboss to is the cauldron. And I have really good luck with vertical lettering like this with a 0.5 millimeter depth and hit OK. And there you go. Pretty simple. Um, to get that fuzzy appearance, you take it into slicer. Let me pull this up. So if I take this into my slicer here, it's freezing on me. Um, we're going to go into other fuzzy skin right here. You want it to be contour, so it's only on the outside. And I found that 0.1 and 0.1 for the fuzzy skin makes it look really good. All right, guys. Good luck making your own.